Hey guys, so uh, not a whole lot of info yet on uh, YouTube about the 2018 Gravely ZTHD 48. So I figured to make a quick video. Uh, not a lot of changes uh, from 17 to 18. Uh, a couple small things, some of the stickers changed. And the uh, foot pedal here to raise and lower the deck is a little more, a little more grippy. Before it was like a gold knurled uh, bar on there now it's kind of got some raised raised edges but uh, other than that it's pretty much the same same mower cut with it one time so far got uh, 1.4 hours on it so I did get the model with the Kawasaki motor in the FR691V Seems to run great so far. Starts real easy. The uh, 48 inch model does have uh, 22 by 10 tires, I think they are. Check that out on the other side. Some of the wider decked models, yeah, 22 by 10 by 12. Some of the wider uh, decked models have a little bit wider tires as well. But uh, yeah. That's about it. Oh, one of the other things I did do, I did do to it right away. Um, so I adjusted the levers from the dealer. They weren't uh, weren't quite lined up, weren't really spaced correctly. So I checked in the manual. Says so you're supposed to have about an inch to inch to a half inch between them. So got those lined up and adjusted properly. And then also um, one of the first things they told me to do was uh, put a larger battery in it. So. When I got it, it just came with uh, this little, little teeny tiny, 190 cold cranking amp, cold cranking amps battery, and uh, the rep of the dealer said those are not long for this world. So buy a better battery, and I actually just bought a brand new battery last year for an old mower of mine that ended up not working out. So got this Exide. I think it's 300 and, yeah, 350 cold cranking amps. I don't remember what I paid for it. Got it on Menards. I'm in the Midwest, so Menards is pretty common around here for us. But other than that, yeah, pretty much all the same as the 17s. Um, Five-gallon tank in the middle still. Still a separate hydraulic uh, reservoirs. Still got the 3100 series drives underneath. Let's see if I can get a picture of those for you guys. From Hydro Gear. Can't really see under there without the flash on. Real, real, uh, real nice mower though. Everything's real heavy duty, as the name states. I decided to go with Gravely. My local dealer has John Deere, and there's a couple other couple other brands you can get too. But decided to go with Gravely. Uh, some friends and family have some Gravely mowers, and I've used them in the past with with no issues, and they've had them for six or eight years now, and haven't had any issues with with them, even some of the lower end models. So just got it out in the garage right now. I'm gonna check the deck and make sure it's adjusted properly for for what I want, so. Seems like most people online say to make sure it's got uh, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch pitch uh, down in the front of the deck, so I'm gonna double check that, measure the blades, make sure it's all set properly, and other than that, yeah. So far, so good. Same same exact thing, so the flip up panel. Easy access to the belts. Still got the uh, all the different adjustments, you know, from one and a half to five inches. It's got that offset on the front of it, for those of you who aren't familiar with the HD series and some of the Proturn series that Gravely has. <clears throat> Let's you get a little bit closer to some stuff with this side of the this side of the deck. You can kind of get up get up close to tuck some trees in this corner or whatever you can also watch your watch your line that you're running down the yard with it too but 
that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions.